Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Monday the 11th, and today was a lovely day outside weather-wise. Uh, a bit of threat of rain this evening, but it did not show up, so definitely um, happy about that. So, got this morning, a um, couple things got done real quick, um, saw Karen off on her birthday, unfortunately um, she had to work, which it happens, um, tried to make the best of it that I could for her, um, she went to, off to work, I went and got a couple things here in the house done real quick, headed out for a bike ride, rode out by the work, um, stopped in, gave her a little birthday hug and kiss kind of thing real quick, and then headed on back. It's also um, free Slurpee Day at 7-Eleven, so it only works from 7 a.m. to or from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And she went ahead and stopped in there, and she got one when she's out running errands. And then on the way home, she stopped and got a second. So, or no, we stopped and got a second on our way home back from riding a bike. Um, went ahead. Um, she got back here to the house. She got changed up. After my run, um, bike ride, I went for a run, got that done. Uh, took care of a few more things around the house here, nothing major. And then uh, went and did some running, went and did some bike shopping for her for a birthday present. And I decided to buy an extra bike so she can go riding with me. So ended up finding um, a few bikes. I went and kind of looked at Walmart and stuff. And that's just, just pure shit. There's nothing there that's going to hold up worth a damn. So I ended up at an actual specialty bike shop here in, uh, well, New Smyrna. But ended up at a specialty bike shop and found, I narrowed it down to three bikes that she needed to look at. Which was, um, really there was... There was one really cute, like, girly bike that I thought she would really love, but it was way overpriced for the quality of bike that it was. The, the bearings, the sprockets, the brakes, everything was just kind of low-end um, quality, and it was not what I wanted. So I didn't look at it. It was way overpriced for what it was. So I picked out three bikes. Um, when I got back there after she got off work, we jumped on the motorcycle, went back up, and um, looked at bikes, and I pulled them out and basically just popped the price tag off them. So she had no idea what she was even looking at. Price-wise, I put her on one first, which is kind of, I guess, statistic. I don't know. It was, it was manipulative, I guess, is the way. I wanted her to ride the fancy one first because it's the best one first. Because if she rode the other one, she's like, ah, oh, it rides fine. And then she has that thought in her mind. But if I get her on the best one first, then when she rides the other one, it's like, oh, this doesn't shift as good. The brakes don't work as good and blah, blah. So I put her on a very, very, very nice bike. Um, definitely, I will get a little video on it when I get it home tomorrow but um definitely a great bike full hydraulic brakes full suspension um insane smooth shifting gears just everything about the bike is amazing and luckily it was a short enough stem that she could actually fit on it so went ahead she rode around a little bit we got the seat somewhat where it needed to be um, just by her height and inseam and then uh, she came back we brought another bike out she rode it and she was like no i'm good and then there was a third bike we was going to pull out and i just kind of we just didn't pull it out one it was near closing time and two it was not that good a bike and she had liked and she really showed interest in the good bike and my theory is it's like three or four times the price of the other bike but it was a much 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 better bike so i went ahead and just said hell with it um threw the dude 100 bucks and said i pick it up tomorrow because i didn't have a, a truck or nothing with me so from there we took off on the bike um ran over and got ourselves our her second um free slurpee of the day my first um hung out there kind of rode around a little bit Went to go to Denny's because Denny's has free um, build your own Grand Slam on your birthday. So headed over there. Uh, she didn't have her ID and she assumed she was going to need the ID. So we drove all the way back home because she forgot her ID. No big deal. Drove back. The guy never asked for ID or nothing. So it's like, ah, fuck that. So anyway, um, wasted trip back home, but not a big deal. Left from there. Went back to um, see about getting me a second Slurpee for the day. And it was already after 7, so could not do that. So... Grabbed some gas anyway, though. Um, filled the tank up. Cheapest gas station in um, both towns. So went ahead and filled that up. And from there, um, headed out south. She wanted to show me this kind of little curvy road. She said about 20 minutes. Uh, 123 miles later, I think it was. <laughs> we ended up um, back home. So kind of got a little bit... Um, lost slash long ways out there and i don't have a helmet on because i thought we were riding just up to new smyrna to grab some dinner and stuff and that and did not think about it so actually i was around there to buy a bike and then possibly go grab some dinner for her birthday and i ended up on the bike for i don't know two and a half hours or so with no helmet which kind of bugged me a little bit my uh, ears uh, you get that much wind i was running highway speed 65 70 times and 
you know, whatnot. And I was crazy. One of the roads we went down, it just goes from blacktop to what looks like like three inch deep or five inch deep sand. And it was the craziest road ever. And somehow or another, I noticed a little bit of discoloration in the road. And I jacked my brakes on as hard as I could without locking a tire up. And I came to almost a stop, drove in the sand, almost dumped the bike. So I had to have her get off so I could get the bike turned around. The road was horrendously screwed up. And I want to take the truck back out there and play with it um, in that crap and see how it does. But that'll be here sometime soon. I don't know when exactly. But got the bike finally turned back around, which then added another probably 25 minutes or so to our riding to get back to where we needed to be um, so definitely uh, was super super happy to be home after all that um, just chilled out watched a little bit of Netflix she had some leftover birthday cake from the weekend um, actually I had some too but we had some leftover birthday cake from the weekend and just chilled out and chatted for a little while so she seemed pretty happy with her bike I'm super hoping that um, we're gonna do a crazy um, custom fit on tomorrow when she's off work we're gonna drive straight to the shop and then basically from there we're going to um, bring it home so i'm gonna go up there i'll probably head up there before she gets off work and um finish paying for it all and take it all done i'll probably get it fitted to myself just a, a quick fit somewhat to myself so i can get it fit where i want over time and just find exactly where i need it to be but i want him to do a custom fit on her and then get it set up right so i figure i'll do mine real quick and then um mark it and then from there we will basically set it up for her and leave it there and that way if i ever need to borrow the bike or whatever if my bike's broke down or something or if i want to ride some mountain bike trails or something like that i can jump on it and go play with it so definitely super 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 excited about her taking the better bike because it's by no means the um, cutest girliest bike but it is the sexiest bike it's i mean it's way better than any uh, pedal bike i've ever owned and probably way nicer than any pedal bike i would ever have bought for myself but i got a stiller deal on it super super stoked on it and it's like i don't know way way more way more expensive than my bike is so i've paid less for uh, motorcycles before so anyway that's all i got for now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching